Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is so good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. Are you knowing what you are wanting? Yes. It may change even as this day unfolds. It will evolve for sure because as we proceed together, you will come more and more into the alignment, into the frequency. You will calibrate to the powerful vibrational output of who you really are. You'll feel it happen. And when it does, you come into clarity and ease. We're eager to talk with you about what matters to you because what matters to you is what matters to us. We're all in this together. You have come into your time and space with such powerful reason to sift and sort and evaluate to experience life and to come to your own personal conclusions about what you desire. It's our desire today that you be easy about this because your life and what you have been living has focused your desire into a very recognizable pattern for us. We can feel the potency of what you are about individually and collectively. It's such a wonderful thing. What this life on planet earth does for the whole of all that we are. And so as you've been living and therefore focusing, therefore coming to your own awarenesses of what you prefer, launching rockets of desire requests to the universe. Those requests have already been received by that larger non-physical part of you, that part of you that remains non-physical, even while you come forth into the physical and this collective consciousness, this non-physical part of you is being responded to as are you by the powerful law of attraction. And so when your life causes you to ask, your request is understood and responded to with a focus and a response that you usually don't recognize. It causes an attraction power. It causes a calling. You kind of get the idea of how the law of attraction works. When you focus upon something, you offer a vibration and the law of attraction, recognizing that vibration responds to your vibration. So you get what you think about whether you want it or not, you get what you're offering vibrationally. Sometimes in your human form, you don't realize what you're offering vibrationally because often you are saying words that are different than what you're offering. You could be saying, I am so sure of myself while you're not so sure of yourself while your words are to cover up your insecurity. Well, the law of attraction doesn't respond to your cover up words. The law of attraction is responding to your insecurity. And your words that cover it up are meaningless. Really? They just serve to distract you and to confuse you. So we want you to feel with us the power of attraction and the power of what you are offering vibrationally. But at the same time, we also want you to recognize that while you are here in your physical form, having those experiences, sometimes you feel very secure. Sometimes you feel honored and blessed and worthy and loved and the universe responds to you accordingly. Sometimes you feel insecure and taken advantage of and insignificant and the universe responds to you accordingly. Nothing bucks the law of attraction. It's powerful and it is not discriminating and it's not giving you what you want. It's giving you what you're vibrating. And so, what you want to do is to get what you're vibrating and what you want in the same vibrational vicinity so that what you're offering and what you're getting are pleasing to you, you see. So at the same time that you're doing all of that and you're doing quite well at it, we want to say your inner being who remains non-physically focused while you are here, that part of you is non-diluted about your desire. When life causes you to know what you don't want and therefore to know what you do want, you offer a vibration that your inner being becomes one with and your inner being stands as the proponent 
so much more than that, but it's the best word Esther can find right now. The proponent of the reflector of the keeping the light burning of the advocate for what you've been asking for. So when you feel insecure and want more security, your inner being stands in that security and the law of attraction responds to that vibrational output of your inner being. And that is why you can have split energy because your inner being is always not just advocating for, but a vibrational representative and therefore attractor of what you're asking for, which means who you have actually already vibrationally become while you may be a holdout to your own desire, to your own self. You may be splitting your energy. You may be so focused upon what's manifested so far and using what's manifested so far as the reason that you offer your vibration rather conditional in your offering. If you don't have enough money and you're standing in insecurity because you've got all this proof of debt or lack of funds and that proof seems so valid and so real. So you notice it and you talk about it and you think about it and you brew about it and you stew about it and you offer enough vibration about it that you hold yourself chronically in a vibration of deprivation. Your inner being does not do that. And in fact, that's the reason that you ever feel negative emotion. Negative emotion is how you feel. When you have an attitude about something that matters to you, that's different from the attitude that your inner being has about exactly the same subject. Your inner being has non diluted, ever present love and appreciation for you. And when you're hard on you, you've got something different going on about the subject of you than your inner being does. We just want you to know that your inner being is dominant. Your inner being will win. Your inner being is the powerful attractor of the energy because one who's connected to this source energy and one who is non-resistant in that energy is more powerful than millions who are not. So as you stand in opposition to how your inner being feels about you, you don't feel good when you're in love with you. Like your inner being is you're frisky. You're frisky and you feel good and you're flexible and you're quick witted and you're loving life and all wonderful things are flocking around you and others who are looking on wonder what you've got going on. In fact, sometimes in your physical form, you say, Oh, that's really an attractive person. And we say truer words could not be spoken. That's someone who is really allowing the attraction to flow to them in the most natural way. They've hooked up with their powerful partner of attraction. And when you hook up with your powerful inner being partner of attraction, you've got something going on that makes the world stand up and notice. In other words, that's a powerful force. That's the energy that creates worlds flowing to you and through you. And that's what you knew when you decided to come into this body to begin with. You said, I'll go into my body, my physical human body. And your inner being says, and we'll stay here in pure pro positive energy reflecting back to you, your choices. And you said, and I'll focus a part of my experience. We call that step one into the sifting and the sorting and the coming to awarenesses of what I prefer from all of this. And your inner being says, and we'll hold steady of what your preferences are. And you said, I will pay attention to the way I feel for that is the way I will know whether I'm in alignment with my desire and all of you, or whether I've deviated from my desire by focusing upon the reason that my desire was born. You stand so often in justification, sort of explanation, sort of like you did with your mother when you were little. I really need it because, because it's unfair that I don't have it. And because I don't like the feeling of not having it. And so please, 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 won't you give this to me? And your mother, bless her heart, really did you a disservice when she gave you the impression that you through your begging, through your justification and through your rationalization could distort the laws of the universe because you can't, you could trick your mother, <laughs> but you cannot trick the law of attraction. You got to line up with what you want and who you are. If you are to thrive in the way that you intended when you came, you got that, didn't you? Yeah. You understand that. Therefore we're done. <laughs> we're becoming very concise and efficient in the way we are teaching. Have a good day. Goodbye.
We are eager to talk with you about whatever it is that you want to talk about. It's our expectation that together we will help you to clarify. It's our intention to call you through the words that Esther chooses because of the powerful intentionality that we are projecting to her and through her to call you to the vibration of your desire. We won't spend a lot of time with you in the justifying why you want what you want. In fact, we'd just like to zap you. We started to say slap you, but <laughs> that was a mistake on Esther's tongue. We want to zap you with a feeling of understanding that you can be or do or have whatever you want and that there's nothing off limits and that life is supposed to be good for you. If we can get you closer to knowing that, then your life will change immediately. The world will treat you better. The law of attraction will respond to you in the way you would really like it to. And it doesn't take much from where you are. We can feel you in many cases already there, some cases teetering on the edge. Some subjects are easier for you than others. And the reason that some subjects are easier for you than others is because we love you so much. <laughs> You know what's coming next <laughs> we love you so much but you are conditional vibrators you vibrate according to your conditions you observe and then you offer a vibration because of what you're observing and then you get more of it and then you say see i was right and we think it's a nice thing when you get that turned around where you're offering a vibration which then adjusts the condition and then your observation of that improved condition keeps it going. Now you're in the driver's seat, you see. And so it's all good. There's not one thing going wrong. It's all good. We just want you to enjoy it more. And you know, we said something to someone the other day. We really want you to hear this, especially parents who are wanting to guide children or spouses who are wanting to guide each other or anybody that's wanting to guide anybody which is all of you <laughs> you're sort of a bossy nosy bunch humans <laughs> we want you to know that no one no one all those people that you're wanting to influence and guide and help and protect and boss around <laughs> not one of them feels satisfaction when they move toward the desire you have established for them not one of them Satisfaction doesn't come from that. Satisfaction does not come from you jumping through hoops, even if it's well-meaning hoops that somebody set out for you. Satisfaction comes only from you having established a desire and life does that for you. And then you moving thought wise, word wise, action wise in the direction of your desire. When you do that, you feel satisfaction every step of the way. And you don't become dependent on getting all the way to the full blown manifestation of it before you feel the satisfaction you're enjoying the unfolding of it. Like a sculptor enjoys the process of the molding of the clay or a painter enjoys the process of the painting. In other words, can you imagine a painter being frustrated and impatient that the painting isn't finished from the very first stroke of the brush? Hasn't there got to be some satisfaction in laying the foundation and in letting the vision form and then letting what's in your mind's eye come about? Don't you really want your hands in your own clay, your own vibrational clay? You do. We know you do. Don't you? You, you do. We know you do. You do. We know 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 you do. You don't know you do, but we know you do. You just want it to be done. Mm, bum. I want it. Bum. Now I'm happy for a second for a second satisfaction has got to be more than that satisfaction has got to be ongoing yeah so we're ready for you are you ready for us what do you want what do you want right now what do you want right now what piece of clarity would be helpful to you right now